Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to this reading for the 9th to the 15th of March 2020. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I will be very grateful if you would, um, as I would love to meet you in the live sessions. Super chat and super stickers are available and the family is growing rapidly, so please join us and become a cyber angel and get your free card if you've got a specific question you can answer that ask that as well and after doing a donation making a super chat or a super sticker the information uh, will be below this uh, video if you wish an extended uh, reading go and have a look at the website it's up and running it's Ch Ch charlie's angel tarot Dot com and also here in the right hand corner you will see a white circle click on that and it will take you straight through to the website and please leave a reaction if you like let me know what you think if you've got any suggestions then please let me know as well I'm using the Metatron deck here and I've done a review on that um, and all of you love this deck. A lot of you have um, ordered it as well because it is good vibes. I've also got a new review out on the House of Shadows um, from Monica Bodinsky and of course my true and faithful Angel Feather Oracle deck from Michelle Newton and the, en the Enchanted Dream uh, Tarot. And I'm adding a crystal wool reading, a very short one, and the, the readings might be on offer too. I don't know, I'll have to think about it because I'm really getting busy. So, this is um, a smoky quartz crystal ball. Okay, and it's on just on a, a, a candle holder, so it won't drop off or roll away and stay clean and neutral. Now, um, I do use a, a, a little a little to get the dust off and the energy off of the Capricorn reading. So there you are, you can see there's glitters in the crystal ball. So here we go my darlings. And this is for Aquarius. Please join us in the live. I do love to see you. We also do healing sessions at the end. Right. Aquarius, what can I see for you? I do see that you are very, very busy at the moment. Most probably with a special project. It could be a birth, a birth of a child. Uh, a, a birth of a hobby, perhaps um, something that is spiky. I also see a star in here, a wish coming true, perhaps, perhaps an extension. I see something growing right at the bottom of this crystal. Something is growing, perhaps a relationship going up to the next level. You will be bearing fruit shortly. You will be bearing fruit shortly. Um, I also see there's a, something spiky, spiky. Um, sounds crazy. Uh, one of you or two of you might even have a hedgehog or thinking of extending the family um, home with a pet. This could be a hedgehog or um, a dog. Spiky could be the teeth. <laughs> Perhaps a baby. Um, I also see lace. Perhaps somebody is getting married. There will be gatherings. I also see gatherings, celebrations. Um, 
It could be with an air sign. That is what I'm seeing. One of you might be... Uh, well, you are an air sign. What am I thinking? Oh, sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> hey, you see, that's what is amazing about crystal balls. Ideas start to flow. Perhaps you're thinking of making a proposal. Some of you are thinking of making a proposal. Um, I have to do it with daylight because that is pure as well. Perhaps you might find out that your partner is expecting. That could be as well a birth. I said a birth earlier on. Okay. Uh, I also see flowers. There might be gifts coming to you. There is definitely also money could be pentacles. Somebody pentacles. You might be meeting somebody pentacles. And it's also fluid, 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 fluidity. That's the word I'm getting, fluidity. You've been going out with this person, perhaps water. Uh, so it could be pentacles or water or air, an other air sign. Uh, you've been shooting ideas, perhaps that's that spike. Um, but there will be a balance coming your way. Balance is coming your way, but I definitely see like a star, a flash, a, uh, an idea, a, a, a moment uh, of boom. Ah, yes, that's it. You've got it. So, so you might have invested in something and a light switch might go on because you had forgotten about this investment or this saving account and you're finding out. You're getting money, an unexpected money, unexpected goods. Um, it's been growing. Perhaps something, uh, an investment uh, for uh, five years or two and a half years, two years. You've put something away and it's coming to fruition. It could be an, also an inheritance that's coming to fruition because you're becoming of age, the stated age in the will. Yes, you are the star. You are in the spotlight. You are getting a lot of attention. Be careful with this attention because uh, some people might take advantage. Somebody might think, ah, ah, they've, they've come of age, so they have what was coming to them. Okay, uh, money, an endowment, I don't know what that word means, a, a diary, an endowment, I don't understand. I just take a break from the crystal ball before I start with the cards, just to get a new... Uh, uh, a break, that's what I do when I'm on a fair as well. After each client, I do take a break just to clear the energy. So the, let's see whether uh, what the cards will say for you. Not now, Millie. These cards are big, but they're beautiful. And they enhance the feminine side and the woman itself as well. Okay. That is shaken. Do it this way as well. Okay, Aquarius. So, please join me in the life sessions. And the first card is the world. The world. The second card is the nine of pentacles. And one from between the Eight of Swords. I think Capricorn had that. And one on the top for the weekend, the Eight of Cups. You've got two eights there. Wow. Eight and eight is 16. One and six is seven. So luck is on your side. Now I'm going to use the House of Shadows as clarification cards. This is, I've done a review, go and have a look. They're really quirky. If you like the Adams Family, you will like this deck. And uh, Monica Bertin, uh, 
Monica um, Borsins, Bordis, I always forget her name, Bordiski um, also when you buy this deck, she one um, dollar is donated to the Bat Federation. You've got the Clover. Now we need one for Wednesday. And you've got the key. There's five extra cards in this deck. And uh, I think they're really beautiful. You've got the fox. And you have the stalk. Wow. Okay. And I'm using the bottom of the deck as well. Let's go. Then, oh, the bottom of this deck I'm using as well. We've got the Emperor. Okay. And I'll do the Angel card in a minute. And the uh, Metatron card at the end. So it's a nice concentrated uh, spread. Right, Monday, the 9th, you've got the world. You've got the world in your hand. The world is your oyster. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. There's an end of a phase, a new beginning. You've got choices here because the world is your oyster. Your relationship might go up a next level. Something will go up to a next level. This could also be a promotion at work. You might finally got that job that you wanted. Beautiful. You might be moving home. You might even go on holiday. This is the travel card. Um, what goes round comes round. This is also my karma card. The karma. If you've done good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong, they will get it back threefold. The same if they've done it good. Luck is on your side. You have the balance as you sorry uh, something went wrong with the computer you've got number two you've got balance and you can see there is a money bank so there might be money coming in it's tied to the clover and to the girl is holding it so okay now we're going on to wednesday and Wednesday, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Well, I just said money's coming towards you. Big time. End of a phase. The same as the world. New beginnings are on the horizon. And you've got the key. Well, um, we have got the key in the Lenamon. That means opening doors. And this is an extra key. An extra card. Um... Oh, no, it isn't. It's 33. Um, so you're holding the key to what you want. So do you want to buy that new house? Do you want to buy that new house? Then it's up to you, like I said, with the world. It's up to you if you want to buy that car. But it's the same with the house, because this it means moving home. Okay, you can also open the door to positivity and close the door on things you don't want. Or close the door on the old house. Uh, close the door on negativity. And again, you've got an angel number. Um, you've got a double three, 33. And that is a six. You're in balance. Monday, Wednesday. Good, good, good. And Friday, you might have an issue. You might feel tied up in a web. Here you can see the web in the back of this lady. Um, in the traditional tarot, her hands are tied up, but not really, because she still has her hands free, but her arms are tied up. So free yourself from people that you don't want in your uh, surroundings. The key, close the door on people that you, on negativity, okay? Uh, come out of your head and take that blindfold off and see what is in front of you so you can make that choice or the decision. Come out of your head. That is the message. This is such a beautiful reading because we've got the fox here. There might be people wearing masks. And in this card, 
the fox is wearing a mask of a chicken. And I think that's so cute. She's got a, a, a little uh, bird um, as a puppet. So don't let anybody treat you as a puppet. Don't let yourself be manipulated by sly, conniving, analytical people. Stay away. On the other hand, the fox also means work. So um, don't be bullied at work. And don't be a bully if it is you. But be careful. Somebody might be keeping an eye on you because he's looking down on her. This could be your boss or somebody that is jealous of you. So stay away from them. But on the positive side, uh, it is your boss could wear a mask and not tell you why he's keeping a close eye on you. Perhaps he might want to give you a promotion. So get out of your mind. Don't think anything um, negative. Um, just make the choice, the right choice, and carry on with work. If there is a deadline, he wants you. To, he wants to see that whether you are precise or not. Stay away from gossip. Stay away and stay out of your head. Concentrate on your work. There could be an air sign around you that might be the boss or could be jealous of you. So be careful. They're very sharp. Swords do cut. Okay. Or an earth sign. Hmm. Then we've got the eight of cups. You want something new. You want to stay away from negativity. That's clear. Perhaps that's what you're thinking about how to move on. Well, I tell you this much, don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones. But the new beginning is here, okay? You've gone through the arch, so you've already set the intention. You've al already done the beginning. The road is long and windy. You can see that in the in, in here. It's long and long and windy. And it's going up the mountain. So it might be a tough start. So don't throw anything away. And until you start something new. Then we've got the stalk. You might find out that you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precaution. You might be moving home, like I already said. Here you might have bought, got the money, you bought the house. You might be closing the door on the old house. The angels are giving you a doorway. Look at these two pillars here. Okay. So this could be a uh, moving home or going on holiday. You might find out there might be an extension in the family. That could be the new beginning. Okay. There's a 360 degrees turnaround with the stalk. So something might get better. It's looked a little devil. You've got the little devil there with um, a, a, a suitcase, like a doctor's case. So there might be a turnaround in your health. So take it easy if you are feeling out of sorts. Because you've got too much in your mind. Or if you're suffering from headaches or pain in the eyes. Go and see a doctor. It's not as bad as you think. Okay? There is help at hand. And the birth could be of a child or a new project. A new home. A new love. And, but you've got luck. So, yeah. I think it's more of a career orientated. Um, or a new study. That's what I'm thinking of as well. You do have the sun underneath the deck. So again, positivity, moving home, going on holiday, new projects, birth, extending the family. Could be a child, could be a project, could be also a new pet. Okay. And you might seek advice. You might even meet a Leo, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, 
um, or um, an Aquarian or a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn and um, the Emperor, emperor uh, represents Aries so you might also meet an Aries you might seek advice from a professional um, because that's what the Emperor uh, represents um, or a father figure or actually the em Emperor is a lot like um, the High Priest um, because he brings he delegates his land and he brings people together for business meetings so you could even um, an advice he seeks advice from advisors he is the advisor he gives advice as well um, so he might it's a lot like the same meaning as the high priest okay so you might be getting married you might be seeking adv uh, advice with regards to moving in together this new period this luck wow like the relationship going up to the next level I think that could be it that could be a proposal of a job or a proposal of marriage because that will bring abundance in as well it doesn't have to be money but if you share something with somebody then it will uh, lighten financial loads and that is a new beginning moving in okay There will be celebrations though, okay, there will be celebrations. It could even be an air sign that gives you advice because they stand for justice, clarity and um, bring you clarity. Yeah, good. It could be about a person, okay. We haven't got the uh, other signs like spades, diamonds on these cards they're very plain like the titanium cards that I use okie dokie I hope that's brought some clarity for you um, if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and this is going to be your angel feather a practical approach is required the brown angel feather the angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time yes you need advice sometimes take it easy with new beginnings you might need advice with regard to the new beginnings I'm also hearing if you are signing contracts get them checked over by professionals wow and um, brown is not a color chakra but brown does mean earth so earth yourself that will stand you in good stead okay and from um oh this is nice um uh from archangel michael we have the um uh, codependency 58 53 so that's eight you're standing in your strength break free the key to freedom there you are we've got the key here the key to freedom you might somebody might be depending on you don't be beholden to anybody don't don't let yourself be manipulated by anybody again it's confirming so make that decision cut away come out of that web okay beautiful 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 okay I hope you have enjoyed this reading and the crystal ball let me know what you think of it and please share with family and friends and join us in the life thank you take care and be blessed have a wonderful week and i'll see you either in the next video or in the life ciao ciao